You try to blow my horn, strum my strings. That ain't the kind of music that a lady sings. A corset reduces your waistline, and um, it closes at the front, and then it laces up the back. The corset is a tight-fitting undergarment worn by women to support the abdomen. In the early 1800s, the corset was used for medical reasons to supposedly strengthen a woman's posture when in fact it deformed internal organs and made it difficult for women to breathe. The most widespread use of the corset was in the latter part of the 19th century when women of all classes wore some form of the garment to enhance their figure. You try to flick my switch, turn my key. The idea behind corsetry was that it was to create a fashionable figure, so dresses of the time period kept changing in fashion and as fashion changed the silhouette changed so the corset was supposed to create a fashionable silhouette I told you once and I shown you twice but you never ever seem to want to take my advice you're so naughty naughty but nice Unlike today, where women have the choice of, of a career and what they want to do with their future, your whole future was based on, on your marriage ability. So in order to be highly desirable and marriageable, you would want to have a perfect figure. Vancouver's Melanie Talkington is putting her own spin on the traditional corset with her line called Lace and Brace. Corsets are very sexy. They give you uh, good support um, to your back. They reduce your waistline. Most people can reduce their waist by up to two inches when they first put the corset on. Um, I have the largest antique corset collection in Canada and, um, and it offers a great inspiration to my work. Our corsets are reproduced from antique corsets. Just about every day, on hot days, I tend not to wear them, but on, uh, on cooler days, I do wear them, um, just because I enjoy the, the support that they give you. I recommend that you go slow when you're lacing the corset down, and you really listen to your body to, uh, to see what, you know, see how your body is reacting. If you're feeling any pain or any discomfort from the corset, you should loosen the laces. My clients uh, range from Dita Von Teese. I'll tell you when And it's only then you can Blow my horn Strum my strings I went down to Dita's hotel room and she tried on some of my corset samples mm -hmm. and this corset in particular is, is uh, one of the ones that, that she quite liked. Then you get to see how a bad girl swings. I have a lot of brides, people, historic reenactors. Um, I deal with a lot of cross-dressers, transgender people, uh, medical, people with medical issues. And I've shown you twice, but you never ever seem to want to take my advice. Some of my clients buy corsets to wear them daily, mm -hmm. and they'll sleep in them. They waist train, they have a very serious goal, and they want to maintain a small waist. Naughty but nice. Waist training essentially is getting your waist to the smallest point. Um, some of my clients have a goal in mind. They want a 17-inch waist, so they will slowly work their, their waist down to that. They'll wear a corset 24 hours a day, sleep in it, only remove it to have a shower, and put the corset back on so that their body has no choice but to take the form of the corset. Do you want I've shown you twice. I think in order to be a true corseteer, you actually have to have the training and the experience in building proper foundation garments and not just corsetry, but foundation garments in general and being able to work with your clients and create a garment that's still comfortable and functional and creates the desired shaping and effect that you're looking for. You're so naughty, naughty but nice.